Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a wooden text effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by activating the horizontal type tool to add some text to your canvas. Use the move tool to move, transform and scale the text as per your liking. Click on window in the top menu and choose styles. From the natural dropdown, pick the wood texture. In the Layers tab, double click on Pattern Overlay and change the scale to 50%. Create a new layer and rename it to Background. Click on Edit in the top menu and choose Fill. Select White from the Contents dropdown. Drag the text layer on top of the background layer. To copy over the Pattern Overlay effect, hold the Alt or Option key and drag the Pattern Overlay from the text layer to the background layer. Double click on pattern overlay and change the texture to bark under wood dropdown. Next, duplicate the text layer to intensify the wood texture effect. Now create a brand new layer and rename it to glow. Change the blend mode to color dodge, then click on FX and choose blending options. Uncheck transparency shapes layer, which is telling Photoshop to not use transparency as a boundary. Activate the brush tool from the toolbar and make sure the flow is set to 5% and the foreground color is set to white. Hold the control or command key and click on the text layers thumbnail to activate the marching and selection around the text. Now slowly paint over the areas of the text that you would like to glow. Use the control or command D shortcut to deselect the current selection. From the New Adjustment Layer menu, choose Gradient Fill. Click inside the gradient to open the Gradient Editor and choose Foreground to Transparent from the Basics dropdown. Double click on the first color stop and change the color to black. Repeat these steps for the second color stop as well. Select Radial from the Style dropdown and check Reverse. Play around with the Scale value and click OK to exit. Double click on the Gradient Fills thumbnail and now you should be able to move around the gradient as per your liking. Continue playing around with the scale value as per your preference, then change the blend mode of this layer to soft light. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.